about, he says it's all about the hearing of faith. Coming back to Babylon. <laughs> the heart of Babylon. See, our faith comes from what was given to Moses. See, realistically, that's where it starts for us, where it was documented, where we have to go back to, and we hold fast. That's like basically our blueprint, something that we have. So that's where we should start looking as far as how to live for the Most High, how to be the people that He's chose us to be. And I was just sitting there just looking at this, because people like to take this and misconstrue and jump straight to Abraham, not understanding the time, how He was dealing with them, and what He gave us. They're trying to deal with what He gave Abraham as opposed to what He gave to them. Mm -hmm. It's like if the Most High gave Dominique something or the God, and I'm trying to go do that when I should be focused on what He gave me. Mm -hmm. Because the law was given for us, Israel, we came afterward, this is where we're at now. We should be looking towards the law and believing in it, because that's what it says. Even as Abraham believed the higher, it was accounted to him for righteousness. Now, if we say we're believing in the Most High, but we're not going to believe in what Moses wrote, we're, we're basically lying. We're Antichrist. sounding foolish. Because how can you believe in the Most High but not believe in his man? Exactly. Moses is the Most High's man. And what he went up there and he got, if we believe in the Most High, that's why all, that's all when he came down and he said, who's going to live for God, step over here, and who's going to do their own thing, stay over there. Those that stepped over showed that they believed in them. So once they made that decision, they're supposed to believe in everything that was given to him to bring on them. And that's why the scripture reads this. Us. Then it says, and the scripture foreseeing that the Most High would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham saying so here it goes right back to Abraham said he knew this before that he was going to justify the heathen through faith so he gave this to Moses I mean to, to Abraham excuse me the gospel to Abraham saying in thee shall a nation be blessed now that was the promise right there Abraham he had Ishmael but it wasn't for Ishmael it was for Isaac and who Isaac seed which we come from and then, of course, once that happened, the law, statutes, and the commandments came, which you're supposed to abide in. That's why he said, so then, they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. Why? Because just like Abraham believed, we're supposed to believe. Abraham believed what the Most High gave him. Because no statutes, laws, and commandments were written, it was verbal orient orientated or orated back then. But once... Moses came on the scene and God erected Moses and used him to deliver then it was narrated it was written down mm -hmm. so that's our records that we have when we hold fast to this day that's where basically our faith somewhat begins but it ultimately leads up to what Christ coming and fulfilling so that's why our faith lies so they can't run from this or they try to say well we we live by grace and by faith but then say we don't have to keep the law of statutes, then you're contradicting yourself. Because Christ came to fulfill the law, and our faith lies in the law and what Christ fulfilled. So this right here, they can't run from this. Then he goes on to say, For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. So there it is, right there. He sums it on up. For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. We know that Christ came and became that curse, but he also broke it if we receive and we go back to what is said under here. Curses everyone that continue it not in all things. So if you want to love God and please him, we're supposed to continue in all things. So that's how the curse is broken because we're doing what we see our big brother Christ did. And that's why, the mo that's why he is justified and he can plead for us because we believe in the law and we believe in what the law states and what the prophets state to who Christ coming and that's how we are justified. So when they try to run from this one here or miss and screw that, I mean, I think the most helpful allow me to understand this right here. As he gave it to me, I was like, man, I sat there and I just let him minister to me because this, this was very deep, the understanding of this right here. That was. Oh, man. That, that, was. Was, that was a blessing. Right. Now devil can't ride off grace. They you just can. heard from Ariah. <laughs> yeah, they sure can run from the tribe of Benjamin. The peace lion. Shabbat Shalom. We made it back home. We're gonna just
just wind down and thank the Most High for having his hand of blessings and mercy upon us to take us out there to do his work, to guide us, and to speak to those that would receive us, and those that didn't, it's just a testimony against them. And I thank the Most High for my brother, Ezra, and the God, the bar, and it was a blessed day today. Shabbat Amen. Shalom. And now we're making it back into Baby Babylon. Babylon. <laughs> <laughs> look at the look at the pyramid and all the other erected right. you want me get Babylonian garbs. Yeah, get that script. Mm -hmm. Come out of her, my people. Look, we fin we finna pass Egypt first. I'm gonna I'm 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 give y'all a little tour. Um, y'all brothers that's um, on the east coast and 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 down south. Um, we're gonna give y'all a quick tour. We're gonna go down through um, Babylon and let y'all see the erection of Babylon. We'll get. Right back with you in a few minutes, all right? Shalom.